I'm just a guy who loves Disney that has way too much time on his hands. If anybody from Disney is watching, please don't sue me. I'm here to rate, review, and describe all of your favorite things from the magical world of Disney. I'm Fawn Andawini and welcome to my Disney News and Reviews. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Disney News and Reviews. I'm Fawn Andawini. Super Bowl weekend guys, wanted to get this up before the Super Bowl, got a lot of cooking to do. I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be cooking that uh, pork dish that I uh, did a cooking with Fawn Andawini on. If you want to go check that out, check in the older videos, I'm going to be cooking that up this weekend along with some uh, pizza stuffed pretzels. I know I thought I got that online and uh, some of this buffalo chicken cheese dip that uh, everybody likes. So, you know, it, it should be a pretty cool Super Bowl party. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Um, so, I mean, aside from that, you know, nothing really going on you know, this past week. It seemed to be going by pretty quickly, which is kind of weird. So. I don't know, just this past week has been a blur to me, I guess, just a lot of stuff on my on, on the brain. Um, but I'm here now, and um, yeah, I think that's it, so let's get right to the news. This is pretty cool. Intervention's newest exhibit, Habitat Heroes, has opened, and WDW Magic has got to experience it during a short test phase, and they gave us some details. Sponsored by Florida Blue, this exhibit is built around educating guests about kicking some unhealthy habits and improving health and fitness. The exhibit is very immersive and there are different activities you complete together as a team. Uh, they mention that it is totally worth your time and should only take about 15 to 20 minutes of your day. For spoilers, go to www.match.com and read the article. It's actually very cool. Links down below. Uh, when I was down there, I saw Habitat or uh, the Habitat Heroes thing. Uh, they, they had a lot of posters up. It's right next to some of all thrills. Very, very cool stuff uh, from what I've seen and read so far. So uh, if anybody is down there and actually checks it out before I get down there, I don't know, message me and tell me how they liked it because I'm really, really interested in, uh, in, in checking it out. The Magic Kingdom is planning to host a special Super Bowl MVP motorcade on, Ma on Monday, February 6th, around 1.20 p.m. The route will include Main Street USA and Liberty Square. Uh, obviously, we don't know who the Super Bowl MVP is yet. Uh, it's going to be either a person from the Giants or the, uh, the New England Patriots. So, um, you know, we'll have to see there. Uh, obviously, Disney does this every Super Bowl. The whole, what are you going to, you won the Super Bowl, what are you going to do next? I'm going to Disney World. Uh, the MVP usually says that each and every single time. So, uh, yeah, so, you know, that's pretty cool. Just, you know, if you're down there on Monday, February 6th at 1.20, there's going to be the Super Bowl um, a motorcade. So, you know, check that out if you're down there. And some rehab and refurbishment news. The Liberty Square Riverboat is scheduled for a refurbishment in the spring, closing on April 16th and reopening on May 21st. The, the, the piano pool at Disney's All-Star Music Resort will be closing for, for refurbishment from February 6th to March 2nd, reopening on March 3rd. The resort's other pool, the Calypso Pool, will remain open as normal. And finally, the Cape May Cafe at Disney's Beach Club Resort will be closing for refurbishment this summer. The restaurant will close uh, July 9th to, uh, through to August 4th with a planned reopening on August 5th. So if you're going down during any of those times, remember that, you know, if it happens to fit into your schedule. So that's the news for this week. Let's get right to the reviews. Now normally I would be reviewing a uh, restaurant or something like that right now, but I got a special re uh, re request to review a certain thing uh, from Jose MS1931222 or 12009. There you go. A lot of numbers right there. But anyway, he wanted me to review the DisneyStore.com website. Um, it's it was interesting, and I wasn't I wasn't sure how to review this, um, but. I took it as a challenge and here's what I found out about DisneyStore.com and uh, here's a, or at least my opinions on what it is. And I mean, Disney first, uh, first launched an online web presence, especially for shopping, uh, in 1995. That's pretty much when the internet started and started to really gain some steam. But the first actual Disney store ever, uh, for first ever Disney store, opened in 1987 in California. 
Now what the DisneyStore.com does, it sells all sorts of Disney merchandise, DVDs, clothes, animation, Disney pins, etc. It pretty much is your main stop for anything Disney related. But one of the cool things about the Disney Store is that you can actually buy theme park tickets and theme park merchandise. The theme park merchandise thing is where it was, was added actually relatively recently. I think somewhere back in 2011 and uh, it's cool because you can because there are separate mer or separate bits of merchandise there's the the, the regular Disney merchandise and then there's the theme park merchandise which is basically you know merchandise that has to deal with all the theme park rides and stuff that you might find in any park at any given time now also with DisneyStore.com you can actually find some pretty rare stuff along with some mainstays. Uh, for instance, I actually found some really awesome Christmas cards that I couldn't find anywhere else at Disney Store. Uh, a couple of you got those, uh, those cards and they were really cool, weren't they? I mean, they were kind of holographic and it really worked out. So it was, you know, it, that was the only place where they, uh, that I could find some really good Disney greeting cards uh, for the holiday season. And it was awesome. I really enjoyed it. I mean, it was it was perfectly priced. You got a good amount. You know, what more could I ask for? Now, some of the things on this website um, can be a little pricey at times, but they have a lot of sales, which is really cool. So it's never really too hard to find something good to get. So what am I going to give the DisneyStore.com? First website I've ever reviewed. So uh, I'll have to give it four because you can pretty much get anything you want. Now, it's not a perfect website because, yes, it can be a little pricey at times. But the fact that you can buy pretty much anything that you need from here, uh, you know, obviously makes it a really, really good store. Um, you might find other things, other places, you know, some non-official Disney stuff, or you, you even might find, you might eBay it, and you might find it a little bit cheaper. Um, but if you want some authentic Disney stuff at a, you know, at a decent price, and you just need to find it, DisneyStore.com is, total, is totally the way to go. So DisneyStore.com, four stars. Check it out, www.disneystore.com. That was interesting. I had never reviewed a website before, so hopefully I did it right and it wasn't too much of a commercial for Disney and whatnot. But, hey, I like Disney Store. Go for it. But the next thing I want to review is an attraction from Disney's Animal Kingdom. It's in the Dinoland section, and it is the Primeval World. Now, this ride opened on March 31st of 2002, and it's a spinning mouse roller coaster. Now, what these guys say the Primeval World is, the small coaster, minor attraction, go during the first two hours the park is open, or in the hour before park closing. 48 uh, inch minimum height requirement, switching off option provided. Um, they gave it three stars. Now, what's cool about this attraction is a lot like Space Mountain, this roller coaster has two tracks that are identical only they're mirror images of each other. So, you know, like on one track, you, you know, you'll go left, but on the other track, you'll go right. But so that's technically, there's, you know, there's two tracks, mirror images of each other, and it's actually really cool. Now, I can't remember if it was 2010 or 11 uh, that this ride went through a pretty extreme refurbishment. And when we went down there this past, you know, over the past year, um, it was pretty much just after it had reopened and only one of the tracks were actually operating. Uh, Disney really hasn't given any major, uh, you know, press release on why it took so long to refurbish or what they refurbished. Now I want to give you the pretty much overall scoop of what we did to get to the primeval world. Uh, we got up early for uh, for Disney's Animal Kingdom because with the the Animal Kingdom closes at six, it's earlier than than you know than most parks. Uh, so we decided to try to you know we're, we're going to get up early, right at opening, and let's go. So we were there at opening and I went to Expedition Everest to get some fast passes while my friends met me at the Dinoland USA area. I got the fast passes while th that line was filling up. And when I went over to Dinoland USA, it was amazing because it was a ghost town. There was nobody over there. And I, I followed the touring plans from, uh, you know, from these guys. And uh, it, was, it was awesome. It was totally great uh, because we, we really didn't wait um, any more than 25 minutes for anything uh, so it was very very cool uh, so when we went on uh, you know it was amazing because there was nobody it, it, it said that there was a five minute wait and the five minutes was pretty much just getting to the car uh, you know so that's really cool I took a whole bunch of video I want to be showing you a video uh, but one thing I had to stress is that this is a very rough attraction uh, because you do go up and you know it, it in addition to being a roller coaster your car spins and you 
seat about four people in a car. Now, when we went back, when we went down in 2008, um, my brother and I were waiting. There was a mom and her daughter. They were there, and uh, the mom really didn't like roller coasters. And we were talking in line. You talk in line, right? Uh, and she decided that it would be safe for her daughter to ride with us. I'm not small and neither is my brother. So I guess you thought it would be okay and her and then her little daughter, God God bless her, had to have been like six, seven years old. She was so small. And uh, you know, we were in there, she we, you know, we kinda sat her in the middle, or I th I think it was on the it was either the middle or right hand side. Either way my brother was right there. So we go up and this ride is a little rough. It kinda jerks you from side to side. <laughs> we get off the ride. The 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 daughter would not look at my brother for any reason whatsoever. She was kind of whatever. We walk off, and Nathan just he goes. He, he looks. He looks over to me and goes, "Nick, I elbowed her." I'm like, "What? I elbowed her in the head." I go, "What do you mean you elbowed her in the head?" I during one of the spin things when they went down because you actually spin and you go down the, uh, the these these bunny hills. He just he he lost it a little bit and elbowed her right in the head. It wasn't anything intentional. But it was the funniest thing because we look over and we just see the parents glaring at us and we just kind of, let's go to Dinosaur while they go over there away. And uh, so yeah, it can be a little rough. That's my uh, primeval world story and that's one of the reasons why we have to get on this ride each and every single time we go down to uh, the Animal Kingdom just because to remember that uh, that ride. It is rough and... Uh, uh, just that story was, you know, it's, it's pretty funny. So anyway, like I said, I took a whole bunch of video. Uh, you're going to see the entire Primeval World experience aside from waiting. You can wait a long time for this. They do have a fast pass there. But my, my, you know, recommendation to you is get there early, get to animal, uh, to, to, to the Animal Kingdom early, and follow the touring plans on here, and you won't wait more than 25 minutes. I promise you that. Anyway, watch the video. It's awesome. Three of us get in here? Yeah. Oh. Yes. No. <laughs> you can do it. Oh, uh, you're gonna be my you're gonna be my little girl scout. This is gonna Oh Nathan, I swear to god if you elbow me in the face. We're locked. Could, could, can you scoot over some Nathan? No, actually I can't. Uh, this is why I hate you, Nathan. I know. Gorgeous, right? Yeah. Alright, fine. My job is to get the next reaction. Walk on five minutes. Walk on standby. We didn't even we didn't even wait five there minutes. There wasn't anybody even here. I don't know how that's five minutes. Fast pass for Exhibition Everest. We're gonna get out of here by three. <laughs> Tipper, we'll have to do this ride again. So we're in a time machine and we're going back to the dino land. Not 
plastic at all. This ride recently went through, went through a major year-long refurbishment. So let's see what happens. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that little video. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, sorry for the shakiness of it, but again, it was it is a pretty rough attraction. It's not very smooth, but uh, it's a wild mouse kosher that spins, so it's not going to be. Um, now, what's funny is they did put this in a in the ch children's section of the th of the park, um, so a lot of people might think that this is a kid coaster. This is not a kid coaster. Um, it is it is it is very herky jerky. So please get on with your uh, you know with your children. Uh, parents get on with your children, and uh, really observe those height requirements. Just because um, this isn't a kids coaster by any means whatsoever. So what am I going to give the Primeval Whirl? I really want to give it a four. So personally, I'm going to give it a four, but I'm going to give it a three. 
this is one of those attractions that not it's not for everybody um, just because it is very herky-jerky but it is a fun attraction it is if you if you look at this as a pure coaster it really isn't it's just a fun attraction that really has no main theming whatsoever uh, you know the theme is just going back in time it's essentially like dinosaur but it's just it's fun it's just so fun especially when you know I have my I have my best friend and my, and my brother right there we were just goofing around you saw uh, that's just it was it was it was amusing and plus we didn't have to wait so it was it was awesome it was a perfect walk on ride we didn't have to worry about it uh, so that's why I wanted to give it a four but if you do have to wait in in the hot in the hot sun and all that stuff I can understand uh, why you know giving it a three would be would be right so personal you know beliefs aside I want to give it a four but personal beliefs aside the primeval world at Disney's Animal Kingdom three stars but seriously guys check that out it really is awesome well I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Disney News and Reviews um, again watch that Super Bowl the MVP will be down there Monday so check it out it's gonna be awesome yeah if anybody from Disney is watching please don't sue me I really just want people to go down to Disney World and have a great time enjoy all the parades the fireworks I mean you guys got it all it's awesome if you're j if you're on the fence about going to Disney World go to Disney World it's fun. You will have a good time. Whether you're an adult, a, a, a child, a kid at heart, whatever, you're going to have a great time. Save up all your pennies. It's going to be awesome. So go to allers.net, touringplans.com, wdwmagic.com for all your latest and greatest Disney news. WaltDisneyWorld.com is good too. Straight from Lord's Mouth stuff. If you want to shop for Disney stuff, go to DisneyStore.com. I just reviewed it. Four stars. Excellent stuff. So yeah, um, I think that's it. So I'll see you all next week for another Disney news and reviews after the Super Bowl. Enjoy it. Watch it. Bye, guys.